What's up, everybody? We were just a couple minutes away from the Nintendo Direct that was kind of surprise announced yesterday. And I wanted to walk through some of my thoughts about it. Um, just share kind of what I think about the rumors, if I think that things are going to happen. We'll see. Maybe I get surprised. Um, I don't have my hopes really up, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to hear about Kirby and the Forgotten Land. That's coming out next month. I'm sure that we'll hear about this uh, uh, team, team Triangle Strategy, I think is what it's called. They've been talking about that for like years or something, so... We'll hear more about that. That comes out soon. Uh, I bet there will be some surprise DLCs for games or things like that. They're focusing just on, like, through the summer, so I don't expect anything too crazy. There's lots of leaks, rumors, all that stuff. They're almost all fake, but let me run through a couple of them. Uh, remakes of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess in the Zelda series. Do not think those are going to happen. I think they're going to be focusing on Breath of the Wild 2 this year. I don't know why they would be doing that. Um, they also were just remade on the Wii U in HD, so anyway... Mario Kart 9 uh, is in the same category. I would be shocked to hear anything about it. Maybe they'll say it's like in development, but I don't think they'll do much more than that. New Pokemon games. I don't think so. Uh, they've had two very successful releases in the last three months. I think they're going to let that ride for a little bit. I don't expect Gen 9 or anything like that. Um, GoldenEye on the Switch. Maybe there's some legal hurdles that would have to be jumped, but I believe Nintendo can do it. They're a huge company. Um, maybe, but I, I'm not fully expecting it. Metroid Prime news, for sure. I think that we'll get something with that. Metroid Dread was such a success. It won tons of awards. Everybody loved it. I think they want to keep the hype going. They'll at least give us an update on what's happening with Metroid Prime 4. And then Breath of the Wild 2 news, the big one. Uh, they've been disappointing me for literally years on this. I always want more info, and they never give it to me. But I do think that we're going to get something. I think we'll at least get a release date. They recently kind of tacitly confirmed that it was still planned for this year so i think we'll get a release date um hopefully we'll get a full trailer maybe some gameplay information i don't know if they don't do anything about breath of the wild i will assume that it's because the game is going to get its own full direct in the spring completely dedicated to breath of the wild um but we'll see i do expect to hear something uh those are my quick thoughts let's let's go over and, and hear this let's see if they've got anything to uh surprise us with reminder guys if you could subscribe if you're not that's a huge help especially for small creators like me i would really appreciate it love to just have you here uh it means a lot let's let's see what nintendo's got for us okay what you got for us okay Looked like a loft wing for a second. <laughs> I was like, this is not that, is it? Is it? Oh, wait! Fire Emblem. Okay, I was like, what? That looked like a loft wing, and then that thing looked like a silent princess. <laughs> I was... The cycle of this they world. already got me starting off wild, guys. To perish with you. <laughs> I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodland. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. I have ambitions, Edelgard. So the Fire Real Emblem ones. series is one that, um, I don't think I've ever played a game in it. But it's always looked interesting. Will you sit around Everybody and loves it. I want to play it at some point. It's just one of those that's never made the cut for me, you know? This one looks kind of we just like a one versus one thousand type. We shall survive, and we shall win a glorious like Hyrule Ninja Warriors. But now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. No, just well, it does look like it's a little bit similar. Is it like Hyrule? Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. Is it a Warriors game? I'm I'm very you confused. Let's just wait. To slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. June. Hello, everyone. I'm okay. Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. Okay, it was Fire Emblem Warriors. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same Maybe they said that on the title and I missed the Warriors. I just saw Fire Emblem. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Let's see him, baby. Let's see him. 
The Orange Star Nation needs you. I move my camera so I'm not blocking. Move it over to this We've side. Got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reap Boot Camp game. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each commanding officer is now voiced, bringing even more charm to these okay, characters. Okay, so this is the remake get hurt. I see right of a game that apparently a lot of people liked. I heard some good feedback about the idea that they're remaking this game. Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers it was for Game Boy Advance. terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. I'm sure that the people who like this game outside of both campaigns with additional modes are very excited about this. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Or battle friends and frenemies in local and online multiplayer. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp marches onto the Nintendo Switch system April 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Explore an infinite universe. In No Man's Sky, every star is the light of a distant sun. Each orbited by planets no Man's Sky. with life. Another game that I haven't Travel played. Planets of your choosing in this infinite, procedurally this generated port, universe. This is a port, right? Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands yeah, it looks cool. and creatures that have never been seen before, and may never be seen again. To survive, you must craft your own tools and even your own place to live. In this, this game looks really cool, but universe, trade convoys travel between stars. Mm. Factions vie for territory. I feel like it's hard to tell what what of this is like real gameplay and not for me. And the authorities are ever watchful. Your journey may be fraught with danger, and actions have consequences. Traitor. Fighter. Traitor. Explorer. How will you live in this? Well, oh, I thought universe? he was just. He said actions have consequences. Traitor. No Sky lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. Okay. Is this a Mario Strikers game? Do we know about this? Wow. I didn't know about this. Maybe you guys are watching, you're like, how did you not know about this? I never played the original, but I've seen things from it. And this is always an example of people say, like, that's a great game that they will never remake because it's so off-brand. I mean, they were wrong, whoever said that. This would be really cool. I love Mario sports games. Mario Strikers Battle League. I love Prepare Mario sports for games. Strike, a five-on-five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. It looks, from what I've seen of gameplay of the original, this is pretty teammates, faithful. As well as by using tackles, items, Dude, and let's go. Special shots. This looks so cool. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try to score more goals than your opponents. I'm trying to look at the um, the roster here. Mind, that'll help you with your strategy. I've seen Wario. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also your stats. Like okay, speed, that's cool. Strength, and pass accuracy. That gives me like Mario Rabbids vibes. Second, equipping the gear and stuff. The hyper strike. Hyper strike. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Interesting. Okay. Hit the net. I loved sports games one, as a kid. I played goals. FIFA, I played NCAA football, Madden, I played the baseball, like MLB baseball and stuff. To eight players, so the idea of playing a Nintendo game that's a sports game is really fun to me. On one Nintendo Switch system. It's been a long time since I played In those games because the last non-Nintendo console that I owned was an Xbox 360. So that tells you how long it's been. In the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or okay, join 20 people in a club. Try to become the world's top club. So you can have your own team online? That's pretty cool. With items. 
Michaels. And Hyper Strike. Samus. Anything goes on this field. Mario Strikers. Battle June 10th. League launches on cool. Nintendo Switch. June 10th. I don't know if I'll pick that one up day today. one. If I have on a lot of Nintendo friends that are really Shop. into it and want to play it with me, maybe, but probably not. The but I want to get it eventually. The Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this Anything Goes Battle Soccer game. Next, please take a look at this. Hey, boy. The slow fade in tells me this is something they want us to take seriously. The helicopter, probably Breath of the Wild 2. Okay, Splatoon. Guys, I gotta be honest, I don't care about Splatoon. I've never played it. It looks cool, but it looked like it was so focused on multiplayer. And I am of an age where I don't have a whole lot of friends that I would be playing multiplayer with, so. When they announced Splatoon 3, everybody was so hyped. It was like, such a disappointment as it's like they ended a direct by announcing splatoon 3 and i was like oh come on like i'm 30 years old to me it was just like man you're giving me the thing that only like 17 year olds care about i know that a lot of other people play the game but that's just what it felt like it's a really cool it looks great the whole splatoon series has always looked awesome uh, it's been really interesting. I'm really glad they make it just because it's a new IP and those are rare. But it's a game I've never played. I'm probably not going to be getting into it with Splatoon 3, but maybe they'll shock me. I don't know. I guess the first one came out on Wii U and I never owned a Wii U, so I kind of lost. Couldn't jump on the bandwagon in the beginning. I throw eggs. I have no idea what any of this, like if it's new, if it, it looks revolutionary, this just looks like generic Splatoon gameplay to me. But I'm sure the people who are really into this are like, what, they added that? They can't believe they changed that, they're doing this. It just looks like Splatoon to me. Big fish daddy right there. That's a big fish. <laughs> supposed to be like a walrus or something a seal oh it's supposed to be a salmon that ain't no salmon boy that was the trailer for the okay. co-op mode in the splatoon 3 game the next wave of salmon run so that's co-op salmonid one that's never been seen before it's fun that there's co-op i always like to find co-op games Will that i can play with my wife ink we like couch co-op games, and those have kind of gone by the by the wayside. We hope you'll look forward to future updates with online play. So, who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get it because of that. To more Nintendo Switch headlines. About a fourth of the way through. Bonzers at the ready. So in my mind, that was ten minutes in. They gave us a what what they would call a big announcement. Maybe we'll get one every ten minutes. Who knows? Maybe it's just gonna be all bangers from here on out. Who knows? You won't, Nintendo. A full remake of the first Front Mission game is storming on Never Nintendo heard of Front Switch. Mission. In it looks cool. RPG, I like tactical RPGs, but I don't have a whole lot of experience with them. And lead your battalion to victory. There's a tactical RPG that I played in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. I can't even say much about it, but I got so addicted to it, and I can't. I have no idea what game it was. I played it on my PC. Customize your Vanzer. It was like you could have a, you know, like a knight and a Uncover mage and all that stuff, and they could move a certain number of spaces every time. Launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. I've looked it up. I can't find what it was. And in the future, Sad. the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo okay. Switch. Those who care about Front Mission, that's really exciting news. Get set for a high octane Disney, Disney and Pixar, and Pixar racer. racer. From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip roaring racing action across Disney and Pixar. Looks much more race realistic. Tracks. Race as a legendary roster of characters on high speed <clears throat> circuits. Interesting. Using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. Sully this looks for pretty cool. Power. 
or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Okay, Each the fact that they are announcing this game tells me skills. Perfect for turning why would they announce this the game second. and Mario Kart Disney 9 at the same Storm time? Is a free -to -play game with new seasons I bet Mario Kart 9 is not getting any, any love today. Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. This looks cool, though. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Cross-platform play, so it's not not just a Switch exclusive Switch or anything. This summer. Okay. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the Force in this okay. classic Star Wars action adventure. Is this the one that? No, this is this is a remake. You'll use devastating. They announced that new Star Wars game as all, on the last year, right? Hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. Upgrade abilities like Force Grip and Force Repulse, then combine them for even more destructive combos. Use button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original. Motion Wii controls. Version. You can also duel locally with a friend to determine... They've really been big on re-releasing Wii game. games and having updated Star motion Wars, controls. The Force Unleashed. It's a Launches buried on success. Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Interact with historical figures. I've only played a little bit of one of Assassin's Creed, Creed game, and it seemed games, cool, but it didn't. I, I wanted it to be a little bit more open world. DLC. The one Plus, I played was Black Flag. Of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on it the felt go, a little too linear for me. Touch screen controls, HD rumble, and optimized on-screen display. Yeah, see, they love this Assassin's stuff. They're Creed, like, the Ezio Collection. we're remaking the game, but Switch we've added motion 17. controls. We've added Pilot mobile touch. We've added all these things that are... RPG battles. Switch Strange stuff. incidents called breaks are occurring across the Gundam universe. Find out what's causing them and restore the proper timeline. You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance each suit. With I wonder how they choose which the of these games to you can remake. Also battle alongside friends Half these games, I'm like, dude, I've never even heard of these. Like, do people Gundam really care that much about these? You know, there's something behind the year. scenes. Or they choose which ones of these are gonna they're gonna remake, which Two random game from in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. Whatever, I don't even know what those were on. A remaster PlayStation? of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Never heard of Chrono Cross. <laughs> Every time that I do that I uh, react to these or watch these with people on stream. Though it somewhat resembles I spend most of the time being like, I've never heard of that, that franchise. No exists here. Maybe it's just because I'm not How like a... I wasn't in the gaming world as much as a kid. World. I had like certain Travel franchises that I was very loyal to. Both worlds to unravel the story. Over but I don't know. I wonder if like, everybody's out there going like, I've never heard of that. Make, and Nintendo acts like it was this huge thing when it's not. Have you guys heard of this? improvements have been made to this remaster. Like the ability to turn off enemy encounters... And doesn't a look half bad. Enhanced soundtrack. Oh, that looks dated. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross. The, the Square Radical Enix Dreamers game, so I'm sure that a lot of people know about it. and slashes its way onto Nintendo Switch April 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. Here we go. I'm very excited to see more about this game. This pre-rendered footage looks great. Yeah, that's right, Kirby. You gonna suck up a car? Yo, Kirby, you wild dog. Do you get to drive around in the car? Okay. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platform. So I've never played a Kirby game. They've Kirby always looked really cool. Land. Um, but I just never have, never owned one. World with an Very excited about this. So I'm gonna be quiet and, and just enjoy this. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Introducing mouthful mode. Mouthful mode, Inhale okay. A car to zoom around. A 
vending machine to attack with juice cans. So this is very Odyssey. Or become a piercing cone. Very cappy in Odyssey. With mouthful mode, new actions will be the available mouthful mode. for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. Which is great. Enjoy I love Odyssey. With new moves, Recently started trying to learn moves. how to speed run it on my streams. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. Oh, that's kind of a cool, like, As you can Kirby see how full he is. Waddle, Waddle D Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. Okay, there's a progression to it. That's fine. At Waddle D's weapon shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Oh, you can upgrade your abilities? Evolve Interesting. Copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. That's pretty cool. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. All right, turn us into a freaking fire a dragon. I'm in. Adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? So Can this trailer Kirby does not make it look as open world. world. Kirby and the Forgotten as the teaser Land launches did. on the Nintendo Switch system March 20. This looks like pseudo the open world. Available now on Nintendo eShop. To me. It looks like a step up from Mario that 3D was Kirby World. Kirby and the Forgotten Land launching later next month. Between 3D World and Odyssey. That's where I think that is. Let's take a look at some more. Maybe kind of like Bowser's Fury. Headlines. Nintendo Direct or Goran Minasan, Konnichiwa, Bata no Tani Shohei des. Oh, hey, Otani, your boy, no Tani Shohei des. Nintendo Switch Joe, Konka, Hajimete, and maybe the Shoji Juniga, Hajimete, and Nemasa. So, Redo, Tura Goran Kasai. That's right, Otani, son. MLB the show is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, that looks that bad. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty on that Nintendo looks bad. Switch. But that's not like I said, I played these games growing up. Exhibition with a single Joy-Con control. That with those graphics look awful. You can also earn and use content on any platform where MLB the Show Dude. 22 is available. And those are Xbox graphics, like original Xbox on Nintendo Switch. Have friends that play MLB The Show 22 online matches on other consoles? No need to worry. You what can are they thinking? Play online. That looks. That's I rough. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Fine, I'm in. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. From Kingdom this Hearts cool. to Kingdom Hearts 3. Never played Kingdom Hearts, DLC. but I've seen some people Every play it. It always seems like a pretty cool to franchise. Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Relive or get to know these heart filled adventures versions. alongside okay. Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for Cloud. Containing okay. all three game collections, soars onto Nintendo Switch. Or Cloud tomorrow. is interesting. Each collection's like they're cloud not selling a physical will version also be of it? individually available on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Klonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. Across oh, dreamy cool. side scrolling levels, you'll run, jump, and hover. While I don't know much about this franchise. To grab and throw enemies. Use each level surroundings to your advantage. Platformers are always fun, though. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Take on these great adventures when Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series launches on Nintendo Switch July 8th. We're so glad you're here. Come here often. Mm, portal. Either way, you're in for a puzzle. I never played treat. Portal. In I'll probably get this. If, if, games, the portal if it's, is if it's cheap, surviving imprisonment I've never played Portal. It'd be really lab. fun to play on stream. Create portals and warp to other areas to find cake? Uh, still unconfirmed. The cake is alive, you bro. You can pass through portals, and so can cubes, lasers, the and cake robots. cake is alive. Even I know that. The sequel adds in local, online, and split-screen multiplayer modes. 
And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move when Portal Companion Collection warps onto Nintendo Switch Available this year. This year. Okay, so probably, probably second half. A classic comes alive. They think that every game is a classic. Let's see if it's a really a classic. What is this? Alive? I don't know what this is. It looks cool. The graphics are great. Look kind of like Stardew Valley-esque. That art style. Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut. Live now Alive, okay. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory. A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild this West. Looks pretty a wanderer interesting. with a bounty on his head fights for his life. I don't know if this is a game that I, I, I probably won't get this game myself, but it's a game that I would enjoy watching someone else play. Twilight of Edo, Japan. A shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The Ooh, distant future, you. a that newly looks cool. built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty in This death. is great. I'm sure that if this had been released Live in the Alive U.S. before, I would have heard of Nintendo it. Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next up is this. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Let's go. Nintendo Switch Sports. That's going to be incredible. Please take a look. Here I heard the, the tennis and I was like, in the Nintendo Wii Switch Sports, Sports coming to Switch? No, Nintendo you might Sports. Recognize these three from past Nintendo Wii Sports Switch Sports. Games. Tennis. Oh, Rally this is going to be so much fun. The Joy-Con controller at the right time. Oh, as long as the motion controls are good. Roll the ball straight ahead. This is going to be so much curve. fun. It's probably going to be 60 bucks though. And Chambara. The Not original one was free. Platform while attacking and defending. Three included with your Plus, system. Three additional sports. Soccer, the lineup. badminton, volleyball. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Rocket League. <laughs> Enjoy matches with joy. That'll be a lot of fun though. To shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the Not doing that, accessory dog. included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Badminton. Nobody's doing that. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttle in the Joy -Con air. To your leg. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. This would be fun. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, Wow, this is hype, dude. And spike the ball. This is so great. Wii Sports is so much fun. The game supports local The new game should be fun. Friends on one Nintendo Switch system. But just well the fact that you got tennis and sports. bowling. I'm good. Play against friends online. Yeah, I was like, you know there's online matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. You can do random matchmaking. Try taking on this challenge. Yes, I'm so happy about that. I that? hope there's lots of people Since playing. I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi! Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi. This wasn't leaked at all. I don't, I don't think that I've read right. anything I'll about Nintendo Switch online. sports. Together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of, course. of space around me as well. I'm not some type of maniac. All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. Look at how they place them so they're the, the exact right, same uh, height on that screen. Uh, volleyball, a newly I'm sure they're not the same height in, the, in real Switch person. Sports. What can we expect today from the Takahashi Koizumi team? It's Koizumi to serve. 
with Takahashi up front. We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. What if one of these guys is just like savage? Coming. Koizumi saves it. A setup in the air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. This looks like it will be they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. Hmm. All right, well, it's okay. It's okay. The game's not. It's over. a really fun idea, but like the now motions the that, that are required look like they Koizumi are very. It. Takahashi sets it up. Gregarious. Look, like you got to make big motions. Right toward the opponent. Look at him. They're putting attack. their hands above their head. Another chance. They get the ball. And with a the setup they're from Koizumi, setting, they're Takahashi spiking. Scores. I just wish they you could play a game like this with without motion, spike. but I know that that's not the point. The whole point of this Ooh, game is motion let's controls. Let's stop our match here. After all, we were let's in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. He just flew away. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. That's exciting. The game launches April 29th. Nice. We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. In addition, we're also planning a second free update this fall let's that lets go. you enjoy golf. That was the one I was just about to say, dude. Golf was my favorite one to and play now, on it. A request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. You know I'm in. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. The online okay. playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. For I'm those in. Of interested, please visit the official only Nintendo bowling, for more details. Chambara, and tennis, though. No Thank golf. You. Man. I, the golf, I... Mario Golf, sorry. I'm, I'm just playing Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Nintendo Sports Switch Golf Sports. now. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. That was a Get big announcement. Taiko drumming skills ready. Big announcement right there. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for Taiko drums, you'll strive to become a Taiko master along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not all. An orchestral version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's, well, that's 76 cool. songs total. And so I don't I don't Plus, care about this game that's up right now, so I'm just gonna keep on talking about Nintendo Switch Sports. Songs as many it's gonna be so much like. fun. I just hope that a lot of people get it. I hope it's gonna be sixty bucks. That's the bummer. I keep on reminding myself it's gonna be sixty bucks. The original one came for free with your Wii. Face off against each other and like everybody had it. Every single person who had a Wii had it. And that's what made it so cool, and that's not gonna be true of this one. So, no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this I'm year. still really, really, Plus, really, really excited for it. That gives you access to over 500 songs Just will to be play golf, bro. The update, the golf update. If I haven't bought it by the time the golf update comes out, I will be buying it then. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? Some DLC. The brand right? new tactical no. RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. The they just said what's Sarah new with Noah Switch games, so I thought they meant DLC. Be in the conflict among like I said nations. before, I was expecting we're going to hear about this. And conviction will determine their fate. They've been Lord talking about this game for, so I much. I swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will but never it also feels like there's not a whole lot of hype of outside world. of directs for this. Like, to the they end want of people. Three will be available on Nintendo eShop okay. later today. Free demo today. Save I'll play that. The demo can be I want to check that out. Full game once purchased. They just want people to get hyped about this, but I feel like they aren't giving More a whole Cuphead lot of reason action to. Awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead, the delicious last course. A lot Here, of people will be very excited about Cuphead. New Inkwell Isle. Defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities. I've never played, but I've watched people play it. Attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fun. some foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course, wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. People be really hyped about that. A free update is coming free to the Metroid Dread update to Metroid game. Dread? All it takes is one hit. Even from this. 
Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Can you face wow. this new challenge? And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Okay, so they just added it hard mode this and easy mode. Update launches later today. That's nice. Nothing huge. I wouldn't call it. They call it like a free update. A it's just rush mode in which you'll battle we changed how damage works. <laughs> one at a time. Okay, second update in April. Okay, with the Something's boss rush. That, that'd be fun. Switch. Earthbound. Coming. To <laughs> yes, let's go. So many people are going to be so hyped about this. There's so many passionate fans of this franchise who are sad that it's like gotten forgot been forgotten. So this looks like it's coming to the expansion. Did they say that? I would assume that it's coming to the expansion for free if you have paid for the expansion, like I have. Okay, explore the beginnings. It's gonna show us the intro to the game. Oh no, the very original. The first one, that's what they mean by explore the beginnings. Okay. That's fun. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online later today. Today, nice. Nice. A lot of people are going to be excited about that. And I'm sure Nintendo is hoping that people get excited so they can have a reason to resurrect the franchise a little bit. We'll see. There's rapid fire announcements here. No, maybe not. Yes, it is. Okay. Get to Fumaren. Sega. Nice. Getting some Sega games in there. Interesting. Lego Brawls. confused are these all going to be on the expansion pass is that what they're saying what did you think here's some news for mario kart fans confused Many about of that you have been enjoying the mario kart 8 deluxe game since its launch in 2017 you sly dog so we've been working on remastering select courses from across the mario kart series and we'll be releasing them as they're just adding dlc content. Please take a look at this trailer. Oh, what a troll. <laughs> I'm sorry. People, when they know the people. They're so stupid. This is going to be cool. People will like this, but... They know the people want to hear about Mario Kart 9, and they started out like that. They say, like... It's been a long time since we released the last one, huh? DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> and they say, hey, guess this what? We're adding Mario a paid DLC. Booster course pass. So you can pay us even more you money. recognize some courses from past <laughs> Mario Kart games. For the game that's like 10 years old. Oh, that's Eight hilarious. courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional That's pretty cool, though. 48. That's a ton. 2023. Okay. Courses such I wasn't expecting 48 ball. courses. I thought it was going to be like five. Chaco Mountain. Wow, that does look... That, these do look great. And Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. They've remade uh, Toad's Turn Bike again. I wonder if you'll have all of the like 
I've never played the Mario Kart 8. Wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wait. Booster Course Pass will launch okay. March 18. 25 bucks. That's not awful. Today. 48 new Nintendo tracks Shop. for 25 bucks. You can enjoy That's... this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo there you Switch go. Online Plus expansion I was wondering if they were going to add this, dude. I've never bought Mario Kart, Kart 8 Deluxe. 8 Deluxe yeah, I'm probably going to buy it now if I get these 48 for free. That's Nintendo, you did it. That's that's their business model. I, I'm probably going to pick it up if I find it on sale somewhere. Forward to the additional courses in Mario Does Kart I get 48 8 courses for free? This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh, man. This is going by so fast. Come on. You. Fight you jerks. In order to live. Nintendo. From living to fight. Having to hold back some thoughts here. That's the way of our world. Tell us about Breath of the Wild too. I refuse. Ionios. Tell me. What would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies. Nobody cares, Nintendo. Do you know what this it. game is, Nintendo? This game is not Breath of the Wild 2. Coming. That's what you should call it. You, you should call it not Breath of the Wild 2. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time. Not even to mention try, of anything from the Zelda franchise, but especially Breath of the Wild 2. Okay, I said it before. I have to believe. That we're gonna get sword like a match. 20 minute direct or Man something. Pierced by great sword. And they give us a game that's another. The only way insert the meme. The it's another copy enemy. of Breath of the Wild 2. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you it all alone. Copy of Breath of the Wild, the original one, I guess. Flickering crops in our eyes. It will never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock. It has to go. I'm so disappointed. Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace. Just mention it. Just say, hey, everybody, news is coming soon. Maybe they'll end it that way. Maybe they'll say, we want to announce that in two weeks there's going to be a Breath of the Wild 2. Or like a, just a Zelda Direct or something. Animal Crossing got a Direct. Mario got a Direct. Yeah, I know. Xenoblade Chronicles. People love this game. I'm not bagging on it specifically. I'm just saying... It's not Breath of the Wild. It's not what everyone wants. Come on, just just tell us you're going to tell us. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together We're 40 minutes in, guys. We're not getting much Xenoblade more. Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch <clears throat> this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. We're not getting much more. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Bro. Bro. Well, that's disappointing. They had a couple fun things in there. I mean, I think the biggest things to me... Um, let me come back here. Just close us out real quick. I mean, the um, Nintendo Switch Sports is really exciting. That'll be a lot of fun. And then... You know, I laughed at the... It, they totally trolled Mario Kart 8 fans who want a Mario Kart 9. There's been all these rumors about Mario Kart 9 lately, and they totally trolled those people. Uh, but... The news that we did get is actually pretty cool. Um, 48 new courses, retro courses that have been added and you can play. Uh, and it's free if you have the expansion pass, which I do. So, yeah. Um... I don't know. It was okay. I, I think there was some pretty cool stuff. We learned a lot more about Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Um, it was okay. I'm really bummed that there was no news about Breath of the Wild. Again, I, I'm holding out hope. In the next couple months, I bet that we'll hear a lot more. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that you have a great rest of your day. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about um, just about this whole thing. Were there things that they didn't talk about that you were expecting they would or... Um, did I miss some stuff? Should I have been more hyped for some of the stuff that I saw? I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comments and seeing you on the next video. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Here's a video I think you might like, along with a playlist of more videos. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch and check out my Twitter page in between videos. Links are in the description. I hope you have a great rest of your day.